Congratulations. Yeah, that would be a hell of a lot catchier than artistic, throbbing entrepreneur soul. Hot dude, like, hey, Rich, I'm enjoying the show. Hope you didn't take this as a personal attack. I'm not taking it as a personal I don't know if it's actually you. Probably not. But if it is, I would love for you to come on. Dude, there's no way it's him. There's, there's no, no way it's way. him. I'm going to assume it's, it's yo, not. If it's him, DM Rich right now. Yeah, DM me on uh, Instagram. I'll, I'll see a notification. Account. I'll see a there, notification on my phone. There's no way. There's no way. Wait a you minute. Know? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm waiting. Um, he's got 620 followers. It is him. Huh? If that's you, John, come on the show right now. We'll we'll send you a link. Come talk to us right now. And listen, okay. John, we're not attacking you. If you come on. You'll have the floor. We want to know. We just want to know. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm, I'm ex to be honest, I'm excited to talk to him. I just got questions. We're going to ask him some hard questions if he comes on. He's I'm not going to cut him off. Ah, he's here. He's here. Hello, sir. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Hey, I just want to lead the, the conversation by saying, first and foremost, I'm very sorry. Because you don't have I to. There's not, no, I do. I, I want to take full accountability because the reason you were tagged is my, my I have I have a video editing team. And so they were the ones that were like putting this up. That that video that you're watching, I did that in 2021 in my quarter early quarter two. So that mm. it was brought to my attention. And I have like a very um, he's a young guy. He's 26. He's ambitious. And he, you know, you know how the content creation game is. He's just looking for spicy headlines and got to get those clicks. You know what I mean? But, but wouldn't, I, but my my question to you is though, wouldn't you want to uh, check the source of that before you, you had a video upload? You know, the source of that is a stalker of mine, correct? I I don't think the the source is what I was saying. I was just like, in my opinion, how you had your dating profile set up, it could have just been done a little bit better to advertise you in a in a better light. That's why I was doing what I did. Mm. I mean, the profile, the template is the template. It is what it is. Fine. You don't like the, I mean, that first off, that's a defunct profile. It's been defunct for over a year. I don't have a dating profile, at least that I'm actively using anymore. Um, yeah. You get some booty now. I heard that. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Get, no so, booty sucks. It does suck. It does. But the other questions like I had for you is. Hey, why does what? your assistant hate me so much? Who hates you? Who hates you? Your assistant, your assistant seems to hate my fucking guts. No, we just, no. the question, no, we don't hate it, but we have the questions that we have is okay. what are, when you, you charge the prices that you charge, what are the credentials that you have to back that up? I've That's, slept with a lot of women. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't matter. But that's matter. not credentials. That's yeah. not that's not a that's not a justifiable reason to say, "Hey, give me $500 for a 40-minute Skype session." You also give financial advice, correct? Yeah. What it, what it, what expertise do you have? Do you have an education in finance or anything like that? No, but I run a business that has crossed <laughs> seven figures within 2 years of starting it. So this oh. business you're talking about has nothing to do with your dating side business, correct? No, this is the dating business. The, the dating business is what it got you seven figures, is what you're saying. My Yeah, my first seven figures, yes. So why don't you, on your website, put any of these credentials so people feel more like secure? Like how... How much... Like how many people sign up for like your Skype session for either 20 minutes or 40 minutes? It ranges uh, on a monthly basis, you know, but... The backbone of all of my, like, you know, as the kids like to say nowadays, receipts that I have are on my daily live streams. I live stream every day, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel, which is Modern Life Dating. And I've been doing that since January 21st, 2019. Okay. But what are the receipts or what? Like, what is the proof that your strategy works besides trust me, bro? Uh, well, I I demonstrate my competence through doing live streams, doing breakdowns of just, you know, 
situations that are happening in dating in pop culture, for example, like, you know, we recently just saw what happened with Will Smith and Chris Rock a couple months ago. And, you know, that's, you know, if you're, if you're getting to the point where you're acting out like that in a marriage, like, you know, obviously there's, there's something going on behind the scenes that's not necessarily making you so happy that you feel like you need to walk up on stage and slap somebody. Okay. But what does, but okay. So I, I, I give you 500 bucks. What do you offer me in return in that Skype session that would justify that price? Like I, I, that's what I'm concerned and curious about. So different people have different questions. Some people say, hey, listen, I want to set up my dating profiles on multiple platforms and, you know, get a bunch of leads to talk to and potentially find a decent girl. Right. I say, OK, like we could set that up. You know, I do a lot of things from setting up good photo shoots. As you see, I had a photo shoot of myself. The, the photo you said I look like a, 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 used, a used car salesman trying to sell an overpriced Maxima. Uh, yeah, so, it, yeah. yeah it, it is it, 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 like like because you had the flex <laughs> with the suit not gonna lie now the other question yeah. like why oh, yeah, this... i got i got invited i got invited to be on valuetainment money in miami at the time and it's like one of the best entrepreneur podcasts like the valuetainment the you know patrick beck david valuetainment has a pretty big brand and so i wanted to show up uh, in a suit looking nice for the, cause I had to fly from Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. So I, it took me like, you know, like a full day of travel to get out there. And I figured, well, if I'm going to fly halfway across the fucking world, man, I got to at least show up in a suit looking good. Okay. Um, so you said that you showed yourself with the Ferrari because for tax purposes, no, 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 no. <laughs> I said what I did was this. I needed a car when I was in town, right? Because I don't live in America, so I don't have a car. Okay. And I don't, I don't ride. Uh, I mean, I just use uh, Ubers all the time in uh, Japan. Okay. Actually, can you just give me one second? I got to talk to this Japanese taxi driver and just tell him where I'm going. I'm just going to okay. myself. So That's that fine. Have to, just That's fine. Hey, just two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Unless there's something different in Japan, that's what I'm going to ask him. Because states, you just need a receipt for the cars you rent. I mean, maybe there is. That's the only thing I could think of. I mean, because I know for damn sure in the United States, like I don't need to show a picture, dude. Imagine you had to show a picture. Or like if I had, to, if I was traveling all over, it'd be insane. I do have some serious questions to ask him. Mm -hmm. Me too. I'm thinking of one right now. Oh, yeah? I'm going to write it down because I don't want to say it out loud, but I don't want to forget it. I'm going to send it to you. Um... Yeah, send... Hey, Rich, I'm back. Okay. Yeah. So, no, what I was going to tell you is, no, so it's I didn't say I was taking the picture for tax purposes. What I said was I was on a business trip. Right. So I flew business class as well, because you know how it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're a successful man. You know how business expenses work. You're either going to hand the money over to the government or spend it on yourself or for the business. You know what I mean? So I flew business class and then I rented a Ferrari because I did need a car for when I was in the city of Miami. I'd never driven a Ferrari. I'm 36 years old. I figured, hey, I have a little bit of money now. I'll let me rent this Ferrari while I'm in town. It was about 3,300 bucks for a few days. And then I also am going to, while I have it, going to do a photo shoot and take a picture of me in front of the Ferrari. And then that photo shoot is for my dating business. So that also is a tax write-off. That was my explanation of that. Mm. You you said it, and I'm pretty sure Jake could back me up with this. You said in the video that you, you needed to take the picture because it, 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 you could write it off on your taxes. So, right. but I But not because... I'm taking a picture, therefore I'm writing off my taxes. But using the car in a photo shoot for my business allows me to write it off on my taxes as well. But weren't you there for a business meeting that you could write it off just like that? If you were there using yeah. the car for a business expense, you didn't have to take a picture. You could just say, I used it as a business expense. And yeah. there you go. Yeah, but so in, you, case so you, aud in, in case I get audited, you know, I'm just, I always have a bunch of contingency plans. 
if you have the receipts, if you get audited, you would have been fine. Like, yeah, I know, but I'm just, I know, but I'm just saying, just in case, you know. And, and actually, just so you know, sometimes uh, with certain things with the IRS, you do actually have to take picture of what you're doing. Like right recently with restaurants, you do have mm-hmm. to like say, okay, I was out. Here's a picture of me and, and the food we were eating, and like people are. Like, I don't know if you know who Alex Hormozzi is, but he actually does that. And he mentioned that in one of his live streams. He's a super successful entrepreneur. And you have, you have to take pictures of your fucking meals and send it to your accountant. Well, that's pretty ridiculous. Um, it is. I hate, I hate that about the government. They need, they're, they're, intru- they're way too intrusive. So another thing that, that kind of raised an eyebrow with me, too, is that you said in the video that uh, women that you've been with, you have like a super private, I don't know if it's a discord, like you're showing pictures of the women that you've dated in there? Yeah, I mean, well, we, we have a private community where we kind of like, hey, you know, I'm dating this kind of girl. What do you think about her? Hey, I've just dated this girl. What do you guys think? You know, we just kind of share information behind the scenes. Do these women have, do you, these women give you permission to do that? We're not like sharing naked photos. These are private. These are like these are public photos on their Instagrams. It's still a little strange, though, don't you think? I mean, it's. I mean, I. It, I'm sure if a woman I was dating and I was in a private Discord and I was sharing the pictures, they wouldn't be too thrilled with it. Do you ask yeah, permission? They, but women do that to us all the time. Doesn't make it right, though. <laughs> you're, you're sharing pictures. That, that's a privacy issue, man. Like that's not well, good. I mean, well, I mean, I, I just, I'm not, I think I live, it, it, dude, you have to understand that's a reality of 2022. Like women are, are going to talk about the men they're sleeping with. Women take pictures of text messages you send them when you're pouring their heart out and put it in a group chat full of their girlfriends and make fun of you. Like we're not even doing shit like that. But I'm just saying to, to, to be like as nuanced as you want to be with like sharing photos that are on public platforms for the whole world to see like there's some of these girls like put out these super sexy photos and there's like strangers jerking off to this you know, you know what, what, like, dude? what but that's yeah. not that doesn't give you the like that that's like saying oh someone else robbed the bank so i could do it too no that doesn't give you the right to just put people's pictures out there that you're dating without their permission well, I mean, even if they're so if public think, so if you think if i'm taking a public picture of a girl that's on her public instagram and I'm sending it to my friends saying, hey, I'm dating this girl. If you think I'm a bad guy for that, then okay, I'm a bad guy. I don't. I, I just think it's weird. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, then I, I didn't. I, then, I mean, to be honest, and this is not an insult. You just you sound a little old saying that. Like, dude, young people, like, that's just not, that's not an issue at all. Well, you I know get, what? I'll be honest here. I'm on your side with this. I'm on I, mean, I just don't think I, I don't think I'm weird. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's have, not as I weird. Have... Yeah, it's not as weird as, I, you know, in the beginning, it's just the way, it's just the way you say the things in the video, which are always pointing back to the fact that you know everything about women. It's always about that and how you have to pay the five hundred dollars to get the answers because you never answer anything on any of the mm-hmm. streams. So yeah, that's, what, uh, that's what we're talking about here. We're getting to the root of your tactic to get people to pay $500 for 40 minutes. And in 40 minutes, what info are you really giving them that is going to get them laid? That's the answers we want here. Well, it's it's like you. if I could just sit down and have a 40-minute conversation with somebody and completely solve the riddle of women, I would be charging way more than $500 for 40 minutes. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? It just depends. Like some guy says, "Hey, like okay, I'll tell, I'll be honest with you. I had a pretty sensitive client recently. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely anonymous, but I'm gonna give you full full disclosure on what happened. It was a recent client of mine recent contacted me, and he he is dating or not dating. He's married to this woman, and a year ago, she got drunk and went out and had sex with his best friend behind his back, and after that. She went out and had sex with him again and she got caught and then she was like crying and be like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I was like, look, dude, if she was so fucking sorry, why did she do it twice in a row? Right. And he had been thinking he'd been struggling like, dude, I don't know what to do. He's like, I feel like I've been completely violated. My boundaries have been violated. And like this, you know, he was really mad. He's like this bitch like went out. We have we have children. I've done everything for her. She's a stay-at-home mom. She went and fucked my best friend twice. And he's like just having these 
you know, boiling fish like feelings about of anger about her and he feels just super betrayed and he really can't forgive her. And I say, Well, dude, you don't necessarily have to forgive her if you feel like your values were like completely mutilated. And I and I said personally, from my standpoint, I think that what she did was absolutely disgusting. And I said, You should and he's like, Well, I want to get a divorce, but I don't know what to do. I said, Well, I haven't talked to the divorce attorney. They give free consultations. I said, divorce can be brutal, especially if you have children involved. And you know, we just consulted about the options that he had because he just wanted somebody to talk to you about his situation with his with his uh, current wife. So stuff like that. Do you have any kind of mental health expertise or anything in, like, have you gone to school for any of that? I have a bachelor's in science and psychology. And okay. I've been, yeah, so, uh, a possible day. Well, and okay. then... Um, and then so, and I've been doing this for a while, you know, um, and I know you guys only watched a few of my streams, but I've been doing like, like how I, dex how I demonstrate my expertise is I've been doing daily live streams on my YouTube channel at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I haven't changed the time. I haven't changed the place. Monday to Friday, I'm there live streaming five days a week, and I've been doing that since 2019. And I also offer a, I don't think you guys know about this, but I've been doing a show on Fridays called Free Consultation Friday, where anybody can call in for free. And I sit there for two to four hours every Friday for free. And anybody can call in, ask any question and get any advice. And I answer yeah. everything completely for free. That's that's fan, that's called marketing. That's fine. What? Why? I've also noticed, too, you're... Um you're on the bandwagon of the 2020 election wasn't valid. I saw your video. No, I don't. I don't. I, don't, I can't say that publicly. But well, all I'll say, I'll is say it that, for you. I'll say it for you. Uh, you you said it. But continue. Well, all, all I would say is if you look at what happened, and this is kind of like segueing from my validity as a dating coach to like, I guess you're trying to paint me as a conspiracy theorist now. Which is fine. No, it, I mean, it, it all no, no, no. On my, I that all falls together. You, 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 that all ties together. So no, that's not different. Okay. Well, all I'm saying is that if you could look, if you look at an election, and you think that there was no irregularities and it was the most legit election, and then Joe Biden got more votes than Barack Obama, the most important and popular president in American history. If you believe that, then hey. Every God single court him. case the Trump administration had, even with Trump appointed judges, was lost. Okay, the point of the political shit is this is nonsense. I have a real question about no, your but how is it how is it nonsense? It all ties into the yeah. same. Also, the anti vax stuff too you put out there. Yeah, but you know? we, we we know that about him. He doesn't okay. need to explain it again to us. He said the things he said, and he doesn't want to explain. I'll explain my stance on the vaccine if you let me. Sure. So I have a medical device uh, history background where I was. What, is that, mean? what does working. that mean exactly? I worked in the medical device industry. What okay. were you in the and medical device industry doing? That, that's very broad. Like, were, are, do you have a medical degree or were you a salesman? Like, what did you do? I was, a, I was a consultant and I was in the sales and marketing department acquiring people to I'm uh, basically a recruiter. I was a recruiter in the medical device industry. And so you can't be in that industry completely uneducated. And my thing about the vaccine was just a thing of probabilities. There's a 99% chance that I'm going to survive if I get the, the, the disease, the virus. But this is the, this is the most expediently rushed vaccine in human history. Vaccines no, usually take... Well, okay, well, vaccines usually take multiple years to get out. And it's technically not even a vaccine as well. And so it, there were all these things about it that I was just like, look, I would just rather take the chance and get coronavirus and then be completely okay. And another thing is this, too. So I live in Tokyo, right? And so they're talking about how this virus is the most transmittable, like going to kill everybody and it's the end of the world virus, right? So if you live in Tokyo, you know that outside of Tokyo, there are four major prefectures, Yokohama to the south, Chiba to the east, Saitama to the north, and then Gunma also a little bit to the north. And every day, millions of people 
pack themselves like sardines into these trains. Fate, literally, you have one inch of your face in front of another person sometimes in the morning. And they repeat this at night. Millions of people flow in and out of Tokyo. And Tokyo had some of the lowest transmission rates in the entire world. Okay. So what... So you did consultant and you did sales in the medical field. What does that, what medical expertise does that give you to tell people if they should take the vaccine or not? I didn't say people can do whatever the fuck they want. What I'm saying is that that thing was rushed. And there are people who have come out now with verifiable life crippling diseases that they have from this. You can gamble with your health if you want to. But me personally, I would rather get coronavirus than potentially get some fucking central nervous system damage that I have to deal with for the rest of my life. Or you could be like people that I know were in incredible shape, including someone I was related to who was actually a personal trainer, uh, who two of them now have lifelong conditions. Again, they weren't obese. They were in perfect health. And one person who was the personal trainer passed away. Because they got coronavirus? Yes. That's 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 tough. Were they older or younger? Younger. How old? Thirties, early thirties. One was one one was my age. The other ones were in their thirties. Well, for me, I I got it twice and I was okay. I just got okay. a fever. I got a but, fever and I went to bed. But you understand that's you, and that's not the rest of the population, right? Like you understand everyone, even healthy people that are not obese. They're, even if they're in perfect health, they may handle the virus differently. And some of those people may listen to you and may not take the vaccine when their life could have been saved. You understand how that's right. kind of irresponsible? Right. Well, I mean, listen, I'm not responsible for everybody. OK. And the name of my channel is Modern Life Dating, not my Modern Life Virologist. OK. I just gave my opinion and I'm entitled to give my, my opinion. And I think my opinion is valid. There's a lot of information coming out now that's saying like these vaccines have had a lot of, you know, un, unforeseen consequences. Because I, I think personally, the global reaction to this thing was overdone. I don't think we'd have, we should have been locked down. So many people had lost their jobs. How many people had lost relationships? So many people had gotten mentally ill from being confined all the time. I think the world got fucking retardedly cucked by the media because the media just wants a hot uh. story. The media doesn't give a shit about anything but fear and clicks and fear and clicks. Hell, it's some, I'm looking. Uh, uh, we'll move on to something else. Jay, what were you going to ask him about the website? Well, my question about the website is if you come from a sales background, why does your website look like it's from 1992? Well, why, I, you know, why, why is it so lazy? I wouldn't say the media, hold on one second and you continue with that. I wouldn't say the media was cucking every, anybody when we were sitting out worldwide 6 .6, almost 6.6 .6 million deaths of coronavirus. Uh, there was also 628 million and 900,000, over 900,000 coronavirus cases. That's it's kind of strange to say that it was overblown when there's almost 7 million people that passed away from it. I mean, more people die every single day from other causes i know but if it's something that and keep you... and, mm -hmm. and in addition to that a lot of these doctors were incentivized to say somebody died of coronavirus or with coronavirus when they're like this guy had skin cancer he died but he also had coronavirus oh, that's so not we that's not him. true i that's I've... definitely true that's verifiably true that's absolutely not true. I know nurse practitioners and doctors in the field, and that is not true. There could have that's, been... That's, that's, that's subjective data from your side. I mean, I'm telling you that they have caught people doing this. Where are you getting your data from? Dude, it's it's in all over the news in the United States. Like They're incentivized to, to mark somebody as dying from the fucking virus because they get money from the government. You know, none and, of this, none of the stuff we're bringing up. It, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not not a doctor either. Fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, but I'm we, looking not, up statistics as I'm going. I, I don't I'm know, not I, just. I don't know if I. I didn't know I was coming out here to talk about the virus. Yeah. Because so, it, no, but it ties into everything else. But I'll let Jay ask his questions now. Well, the, let, the only reason we brought that up is because you are dealing with influence. You are you're influencing so, uh, these these men. 
to come so to you, you and listen you, to you. You guys, so are you. You guys, are, you have a larger audience, and these vaccines have been proven. Yep. Yeah, like we're hurting people. Well, we're they they have the not vaccine. been proven to hurting people, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm double boosted, and my fat ass is still here. Who's well, dying? I'm not, from saying, I'm not, I'm not saying you, but there's been a fucking rise in myocarditis as well. And here in Japan, when you go to that's a cardiologist, been debunked too. No, no, you're not. You're wrong. Okay. And when you go to a cardiologist right. here in Japan, okay, you can you can call any cardiologist's office in Tokyo. You can and ask them yourself. When you go to the office, part of the fucking checklist they give you now is have you received the COVID vaccine? Because this ties into heart health. Okay. Let's move back All to right. your website here. Go back to the website while I'm looking something up. Go yeah. ahead. And are you guys are, are you guys also of the, the, the notion that ivermectin is a bad solution? You shouldn't use it? I, yes. I don't. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you know the number one ministry of health person here in japan the head doctor was the one who led the charge saying ivermectin is a good solution and you like the jet the, yeah, this is not like this is japan this is the third strongest economy in the world this is the first world nation and the head of their doctors has said that all right so while i'm looking up something ask him about the website well i've asked three times now okay yeah, yeah why look I, I know my website sucks. So I, I'm, dude, I, again, you're a review tech USA. I'm not like great website USA. I'm just, hey, it's working and it's actually in the process of being redone right now, if you must know. But yeah, but if you're saying you run a seven figure business from it, 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 it does. It's horseshit. It yeah. Literally horseshit. If you have seven figures coming in, the first thing you invest in before is you the business. Is, yeah. Yes. All of the no. money would go back into what do you mean, no? That's how that works. I've, you know, you can talk about how you did business all these years. I have seven years of business in my pocket. So I, you sound like the biggest scam artist I've ever heard. Number one. I mean, fuck you, honestly, because I'm not a scam artist. That's bullshit because you can't be running scams and have a PayPal account and have a Stripe account and think <laughs> yes, that these you fucking can. companies. And you also are take, gonna... why do you think you take Bitcoin for? Do you think I'm a fool? Like, you okay. have a website. Did you, did, so did you run? No, just, the, no, did no, you no, run? No, 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 no. Since you're so fucking smart and you got it all figured out, did you run? The oh, no. Oh, no. Somebody Bitcoin? knows more about business than you. Get angry. Did, like, calm did, down, did, man. Calm did, down. No, your, you're, your breasts. you're calling me a scammer. You're calling me a scammer. It's bullshit. Yeah, and because you are a scammer. Right this. Because you have I'm a website a that you're asking half a grand for 40 minutes and you're not giving any credentials. You're no, giving you none. Know. You have a website from 1994, you. dude. I just okay. So now we've we've devolved ad hominem attacks, and that's okay because it's making you two look dumb. That's fine. Why? Well, how mean, is it? So how, if, if this was a okay. seven-figure business, okay. your website you guys, wouldn't look like it's from 1994. How do you answer that? Yeah, that's the first thing you do to look professional. Like, please, I dude, I, I I've been doing this, I don't and care I'm. About I, looking pro, I don't care about looking. Listen, professional. that that siren better be picking you up because you're insane, man. The website is from <laughs> 1994, dude. And I'm not, I don't mean to be rude. It's a website from 1994, man. Like, take the criticism. I feel like, I take feel it. like you're jealous. Take it, man. No, I'm, oh, I'm jealous. Yeah, because you're not making seven figures yourself, so you're calling me a scammer. Oh, it brings real happiness to your life, does it? No, dude, yeah, we're calling you. Call shit. Dude, we're calling you a scammer because you're making all these bold claims and you back them up and you're asking ex astronomically high prices. Yes, it, it, it it's a concern. It's probably high for you guys, but not my clientele. No, I could pay, don't don't worry, dude. I'm doing okay. I could pay it. No, it's not No, your your clientele is more than likely dumb naive teenagers and sexually frustrated 30 and 40 year olds who think that you have answers that you don't you don't give solutions for. What is the solution? So I told you. Everybody has different problems. So they're basically okay. what what are they paying you $500 so you could be their friend? But <laughs> start an oh. OnlyFans then. <laughs> You can no, do that on OnlyFans. You don't have to. You don't have to pretend to be sitting in front of a Ferrari. Okay, you rented. okay. L listen, man. If yeah, I keep, I'm just if, not. I don't like your assistant calling me a scammer when, like, I literally, I like submit my taxes to the IRS. I'm not saying a you're not in business, and you're, you're you're implying that I'm a criminal. About I never said you're a criminal. Listen, I said so you're what selling bulls. What is a scammer? You could, what is a scammer? You could what sell scammer. 
Go the look court, at the scammers are criminal. The, the no, are criminal. that's not true. You could still scam, dude. There's churches. There's scam artists wait, in, wait, with the. Okay, okay. So you can ethically. You're telling me I could ethically be a scammer in the eyes of the United States government. They'll do nothing. Yes, absolutely, hundred percent. Right, well, there's televangelists well, that do it every day. I'm not a fucking televangelist. <laughs> you're close to one. And I, and then they don't pay taxes, idiot. You're, you're, you're still close to one. You're selling snake oil just like all the televangelists are, too. Okay, so let's move past this. Your website is being worked on, right? Okay, yeah. yes. After so, he's, take, after and, he's and, taking everyone's and if, money. And, and if you run the address, the Bitcoin address on there, you can see exactly how much Bitcoin's been sent to there. You call me a scammer. It's a very few amount of Bitcoin has been sent to that. It's public information. If you knew how the blockchain worked, you would fucking easily know that, but clearly you both don't. Yeah, it still looks suspect that you're giving a ten percent discount to do Bitcoin because the money yeah. can't be. I know how I know how crypto works because the money yeah, can't go, be go traced. Go see how many people go see how many people send me money to that Bitcoin address. You can see this big grandiose scam I'm running. Doesn't matter. You're still offering it. Doesn't, Doesn't matter. matter because you don't know what you're talking about. You're an old, out of touch guy. For a guy who calls him Review Tech USA saying you don't know how Bitcoin works, that's fucking laughable. Well, here's a good. You know here's what? You know what? Also, your your website looking like it's done by a twelve year old back in nineteen ninety six, and you're taking thousands of dollars <laughs> from people is kind of laughable too. Yeah, like, do, well, you, do you not? Do you, the bank. Yeah, but do you not see how that is embarrassing? Your website looks like it's nineteen ninety four, and you're talking about all this high line pussy you're getting. Meanwhile, your website's from nineteen ninety four. Do you? Th what would happen if the women that you're getting the high line pussy from saw your website? Wouldn't those high line they women would. be like, "Why am I stepping up to this fucking low life?" Who's got a website from you, 1994? You're telling me, so you, you guys just did a whole stream saying people can be looking as fat as rich and get pussy, but you're telling me that a woman's going to look at my website and not want to sleep with me? You don't know what you're talking about, bro. Dude, why don't you put up, here's the thing, why don't you put up a picture oh. where you're looking like a, 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 a math teacher who just went out to go tanning with your your shirt you're wearing right there under your money muscles game frame and not some heavily photoshopped picture of you standing in front of a rented Ferrari and go pay money to get to see uh, what the survey says and come back and see what the real how sexy you are. I don't care that you put me there. I really don't give a shit. But the fact that you paid money for it is incredible. Thank you for doing yeah. that. You're welcome. You could have put you should have paid a little more than 20. I mean, you say you have the money to do it, right? You say, I don't have the money to pay to consult and get the genius from you. Why don't you pay the extra money to get 80 women to do it? It would have been a more accurate, you know? I mean, you're balling, right? Breasts. I mean, we could do that. We could do Tell that. Tell me why a man could, trying to get you, you pussy would care about how think, modern uh, his website looks. <laughs> L-M-A-O-O-O. Tell me why a man trying to get pussy would care how modern his website looks. Like, what? It, I, Your old I'm, fans are making fun of you. I don't know. There's no the, the, logic. There's yeah, no the logic, logic is oh, the hey, logic hey, is baby. this, Andrew. Hey, baby, I want to have sex. Like, hey, baby, I want to have sex. Listen, with you. but first, if I come, would you like to critique my website? I'd like to show you my LinkedIn profile. Yes, as well. yeah, because the, because baby, the website's laughable. You're not if I went to a if I went to a website to buy a product, if I went you to a website, <laughs> stop talking a second. If I went to a website to spend half a grand on something. Doesn't matter. Doesn't it? Doesn't matter who's what's in whose bank account because you're going to say that I can't afford it again. And it looked like your website. I would laugh. Doesn't matter what the product is. Doesn't matter if it's a projector. Doesn't matter if it's you flexing in the mirror. It's bizarre. It's also bizarre. I know Jay doesn't kind of doesn't agree that you're like, hey guys, I have this super private Discord where women that we're getting with we share the pictures without their permission. Doesn't matter if it's on a on an Instagram or a Facebook that they don't have private. It's still weird. You could call me a boomer as much as you want to, but here is the reality of it. You are charging insane prices and back it up with no credentials. And the thing is, too, you want to say that you're, I'm attacking you when it doesn't matter if it's your assistant or your assistant's assistant or if it's your grandmother. You made a video first tagging me, and then you get pissed off and say I'm attacking your credibility, justifiably so, because you don't show any of your credentials to show your credibility. Okay. So then where's your credibility? Let's, I don't let's need use your same. Let, no, no, no. I don't no, need. No. Same, no, 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 no. You had your nope. chance to talk. Let me talk now. Are All right, go my ahead. Go ahead. You, you said, you said this. I had no credibility to give people relationship on dating advice, right? For $500, okay. right? Okay. yes. 
That's what you said, right? Mm -hmm. So did you have credibility when you started doing your review tech USA? I didn't charge people a consulting fee to watch me. I don't I don't care. I don't care. Did you have the credibility? But you have to you have to care because that's the point. People found me interesting and entertaining. They subbed to me. I didn't go to them, hey, for five hundred dollars, I could tell you how to stick your dick in a vagina. It's different. So people found me people found me interesting and entertaining as well. That's why I, that's why I have forty five thousand subscribers on YouTube. What that? Well, congratulations! You found forty-five thousand idiots that will pay you money when you don't give any reason to give you the money. I didn't go to people. Hey, guys, you want to hear about my? You want to hear about my tech takes? Give me five hundred bucks for forty minutes of them. Mm-hmm. What are your What are your credentials? Trust Dude, me, bro. Okay, okay, hey, let's just calm okay. Down so for a second. okay, no, no. So then, tell me this: What credentials should I have? I have a bachelor's uh, in science and psychology. Okay. I studied relationships from the University of Central Florida. Right. So why is I've none of that on your website? Done, because I don't, I don't care to put it on this. But that's your business. Why would you not put it on your website? See, so man, people. Okay, yeah, my this, business this is, is already like, doing pretty well, Rich. My business is doing already pretty well. Come on, dude. There's so yeah, many holes in this story, man. Yeah, there's too many holes in this story. The it doesn't first, make sense. It just, dude, it we're trying to give what? you. That I make, well, listen, wait, wait, we're trying to make, give you. It the, doesn't make sense that I'm making more money than both of you and you're angry? That doesn't, no, it doesn't That's matter. That's not the point of what we're talking about. <laughs> it seems like it is. No. And, and how do you know what we're making? You don't know us. Yeah, you don't know what's in my bank account, dude. I'm doing perfectly fine, but, but homie. The, the point is you can keep coming at us for this stuff. The question really is, why are there so many inconsistencies? Like, I don't understand you, man. Like, wait, wait. So you guys have been observing me for three days, and you think you have my entire business format dude. completely figured yes, out? Yes. I know yes. exactly what you're doing. Okay. Then you're both idiots if you think that. Okay, <laughs> but that's fine. I have 577 episodes on my channel. Dude, I, you, we understand. You think you know everything. No, you don't. You clearly yes, don't. Yes, you're a YouTuber clearly who don't. gave advice. You got this wise idea when Andrew Tate came along that you could do the same no. scam. <laughs> yes, I, I, absolutely. If, if, if you're, 100%. If you're smart enough, you would have seen that I've been doing this shit. Like I said earlier on the show right here, I said I've been doing this since live streaming since January 21st, 2019, way before Andrew Tate, who is a personal friend of mine, oh, came of course to his <laughs> up, uprising. <laughs> Of course he is. Okay. Yeah. Of course he is. The incel no, listen, uprising is dude, coming. No. Give us money. <coughs> dude, are, you, is... are you are you are you starting Hustler no, minute, University wait minute, too? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to give you a chance here, dude. Are you are you being serious? You're a personal friend of Andrew Tate. Well, we've done multiple videos on a stream together, and we DM each other on WhatsApp. So can you prove that at all? I am not going to send my private text messages to Andrew Tate to you guys at all. Do you no. have a photo with him? I just told you it's all been digital. Yeah, so you have proof, but you're not willing to show it. Yeah, it's trust me, bro. No, no, I just, listen, it's not that. I just said our relationship has been digital. Oh, so you never met him. Okay, well, you can't say no, you're we, friends we linked with up, the guy. We linked up in 2020. Or excuse me, we linked, yeah, we started doing content together, I think, late 2019. And then 2020, we were supposed to link up, but then the fucking pandemic hit. And then after that, he went became like super famous and like so hard to fucking. You know, okay, so it was bef- yeah, it was before he got famous. Fine, I'll believe you in this one. I'll take this one. Fine, that's yeah, great. Yeah. So will you will you will you pull back and how you just said? Oh, this guy saw Andrew Tate and this thought. Oh, okay, you fine, make fine. Too. Okay, if that's true, I'll look into it. We'll see. I'll, I'd like to see some sort of proof that you talk to him. That'd be great. You don't need to show us publicly. I'm just saying. Cool. Fine. Then yeah, okay. You've been doing your YouTube show for a while. When did you yeah, start? Since, when did you start the website? Uh, well, it's a, it's my second website, but I think that website put, got put up in 2019. It still looks like that from 2019. I think it was 2019, and or maybe at okay, 2020, so maybe it was updated. You, you, but before you, it was on WordPress, and I built it myself. And the right, one so, before was worse. Well, you, so you admit the website doesn't look up to, to snuff. That I would be a complete asshole if I sat here and lied to you and said it looked great. So why, so, why, why would you even launch the website looking like that? I thought you have what, the money Rich, to make it look you, better. Rich, when you first launched your your first YouTube video, did it look as cool and well produced as your shit now? Yeah, but that, that's three that years was, ago. That was years ago. That was three years ago. Why does the website still look the same yeah. from years ago? 
there's no excuse for this website. Well, look, I guess you guys are better at making websites than me. I'll submit to you on that. No, but dude, come on. But you man. have the You've money that the you money. could pay someone to do yeah, the that, website. I told, you, I, I told you it's in the process of being done. I paid someone earlier this year, and they fucking took the money and ran. And so now I had to pay another guy, and I'm, he's doing the route. I just got done traveling, too. I went In August, I, went, I had to go to Miami. I was doing tr- the tours and shit in Miami and America for my podcast. And then I flew to Turkey at the end of um, August to get a hair transplant and then I was recovering from that and so now I finally got back in the saddle and my website guy has the first level of like you know things I need to approve to get to the next part of like you know pulling down the old stuff and putting up the new stuff you know what I mean so I've just been busy listen fly yes, to my, my website sucks my website yeah. sucks you guys are better than me on the website stuff i'm sorry okay i'm not i'm not that, that's, no but no but that's not it i what i would say is that i would have hired someone to make the website and you've had years to do it which yeah, just makes the whole presentation and what you're offering seem more suspect and the fact that you still okay fine you have your bachelor's degree but why is that not on the website why why is I, it just this all trust me bro stuff I mean, that, that, what, what kind of credentials do, would, you, would make you feel happy? Well, no, a I, from, a, from a sales point, because you have a no, sales you call, background. Because you, you call me a scammer. So what kind of credentials would I need to have in order to be not considered a scammer? No, it's it's not about us. We're asking you the question. Oh, no, because you're 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 telling me that I'm like some dishonest scammer, and like where your credentials, where your credentials. So what credentials do you want me to have? So hang on a second. You have a website. I presented some and first off, a pat- and, for- and a bachelor's degree is like a high school diploma in the psychi- uh, mental health field. So hey, okay, yeah, but I, I take offense you- to that. I worked very hard to get my bachelor's degree, and but I I'm paid sa- my way through college. I didn't get any, sh- I didn't get any rich mommy and daddy. None of that bullshit. I worked overtime. I worked very hard, and I got a very good GPA graduating. Well, congratulations, okay, but that's still considered a high school diploma in the mental health field. You need to do eight years just like a doctor does. But I could continue. You don't need to do eight years. You could do a licensed medical health counselor, and that's two years. That's a, ma- that's a master's degree, actually, okay, not so, eight years. So basically, you're not going to put your credentials on your own website, correct? My credentials that you say that don't matter? Yes, correct. Of course they matter. It's just why you're just saying, go to me. I get laid. I'll get you laid. Like, that's like, I could go. My credentials are. Okay. I have a legitimate question, man. I have a legitimate. Look, my credentials are me putting out free content on a daily basis, talking about dating and asking and people asking me their questions me giving them advice, them going out, implementing the advice, getting real life advice, getting real life fucking success, and then be like, damn, this guy was fucking right. I want to talk to him in more detail because YouTube, as you know, it's a one way communication platform. We're usually talking to the chat. The only thing the chat can really do is like write a chat or write a super chat. And then you're like, oh, okay. You know, I can kind of, you know, uh, have a conversation with you. But if one side is conversation, like, vocally and the other side is conversation is you know just via text that conversation is there's gonna be a lot of lost in translation there like look look for example like me trying to come on the show this morning or sorry this evening for you guys um your assistant thought i was a scammer i'm like no it's me hey, i sent you an email i sent you this check your dms what's your dms this is my instagram and this call back and forth thing was just inefficient so the, a lot of the customers say hey you know what i just want to skip the bullshit I want to talk to this guy importantly because time is the most important resource we have on this planet. I will pay money to get these fucking questions answered, and that's what I do. Okay, so here's some legitimate questions, man. I'm not trying to knock you on this one. I don't know if you'll even answer it. How many women have you uh, like, you know, slept with? Okay, so no matter what number I say, you're going to say it's a lie. You're going to make no, no, no. It. I swear to no, God, no, not. I'm not doing we that. won't say it's a I, lie. Listen, listen, I want to know this. Because you say you're good at it. I just want to know what the number is based on what you've learned in life, plus all of your schooling. I'm actually curious, what is the number? Okay, so it is about 248 with a margin of error, plus minus about 10. <laughs> so what, but even with that 247, high- 247, sorry, I just looked at my list, 247. <laughs> you have a list? Yeah. Okay. All right. You got a list. God bless. 
So well, you here, know, he could he. It's for tax purposes. Yeah, he 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 yeah. he, he, he yeah, writes. You could write off hose. <laughs> you, you, you could you could you could write you could write off you could write off the vagina. So here's the other yes. question: How many guys have you got laid because of your advice? Oh fuck! I can't even tell you. It's, it's like it's in the thousands. So how do you confirm something like that? Like because they listen, tell me. So how do they they've, tell you though? Because to talk to you they've costs five hundred bucks, told me, no, right? They've told me, and then unfortunately, some dudes have sent me like sex tapes <laughs> themselves that I did not want to see. So it's definitely working. Well, all right, man. I, I mean, at this point, we're going to go around in circles. If it's working for you, it's working for you. Um, and like I said, you know, I put you to task because, like, I you got I got tagged in a video. You know, it, it's that's what I do. Yeah. I'm a commentator. So and 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 I did not. I all, all I was saying was that. The thing was that you were attacking my credibility. You can make fun of me all you want. I don't care. I, I, there's plenty of material to make fun of me about. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you don't, you don't talk about me. Like, dude, I don't take myself seriously to like the extent. Like, nobody wants to be around that kind of person. You know what I mean? But I will say that when you're attacking my credibility, you're attacking my business. And I felt I had an obligation to respond regarding your comments for myself the integrity of my business and the integrity of my clientele. And that's what well, I did. And I, I feel like in my response, I was like, you know, fuck this guy. He's fucking. No, dumb. you did not I'm a, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that you did that. I mean, you had some sly stuff in there, but that's fine. I've been sly with you too, but oh, well, and, and, and the sly stuff is just because I, you know, you did, you did pull an emotional cord with me. You did get me a little upset, you know? So, and, and it is, I mean, it is what it is. We're, we're two imperfect human beings. I, I don't think you're a bad guy, Rich. I, hey, don't I, I don't show that smart. side to any women, by the way, because that won't work. That's right. That's totally beta, man. You don't want to be no soy boy. Is that what no. you want me to say? Is that the line? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't know even know what the <laughs> word is, but. Well, all right, man. I I, I appreciate you coming on. Um, can you do, can you do us one favor? Can you just say congratulations, please? That would mean the world. Congratulations. To us. <laughs> Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. Have a good night. Safe trip All home. Right, you guys take care. Peace you out. too. Have a good one. Bye bye.